Hey, what's up guys? Ben Clark here for Adapt to Perform. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a great, quick and easy shoulder mobility routine. Hi then, so this little routine is to be a really, really great for our shoulder mobility and its overall joint healthiness. So the idea behind this is that our joints need to go through a certain range of motion to do things. Say if we reach for something, you know, up high, maybe in a sport, um, if, it's, if our body's not used to going through that range of motion, we can cause tears in those muscles, which is going to be long-term damage and it's really not going to be helpful. Especially if you really rely on a wheelchair, we need to protect those shoulders long-term, you know, otherwise, you know, we're going to be buggered, basically. So, the idea behind this is quite, it's like a bit of mobility, a little bit of stretching, sort of all rolled into one. And the idea is to really increase that range of motion so when we do reach into those positions, our body's already used to it and we're not going to cause any damage. All right then, so let's get into it. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to, go, we're going to basically put our rotator cuff muscles, which are the ones that help internally and externally rotate our shoulder and stabilize the joint. We're going to make sure that they're stretched, okay? So first one, we're going to have our arm up like we're doing a bicep pose. And we're going to put our arm right behind our back. I'll come to the side angle so you can see it better. So it's going to go right the way back. Just hold it there for a second. And then we're going to bring it right the way forwards. And then back. And then forwards. Just like that. And we're going to do five up and down. So that's three. And four. And five. And the idea is when you go through, try and sort of squeeze it back. And really try and feel that stretch. If you're doing it right... Just, which is just that, you know, it's not hard to get it wrong. You should sort of feel sort of a slight burn, sort of stretching feeling with inside the sort of shoulder joint there. We're going to swap arms now. I'll do it from the front this time, so you can see it from the front. Just go like this, and then down. So that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five. So yeah, you should feel a bit of a stretch there. Now with the shoulder joint, it doesn't just work in one range of motion, it works in a lot. So we're gonna work it through different ranges of motion. So we're gonna bring it down to here now, and we're gonna bring it in, and then out. In, and then out. Try and see if you can really squeeze it in both directions. It's a bit harder here because we can probably internally rotate, but our body's in the way. So you wanna go right the way in, and then just as far as you can, and then maybe pull that shoulder forward a little bit. Just get a bit more of the stretch in. So I said we're working all these different planes of motion. So because our shoulders are a ball and socket joint, so they go all over the place basically. So we need to make sure they're nice and flexible throughout the entire range of motion. All right, so that's both arms done. Now we get, as I said, they work through lots of ranges. So we've gone down low, we've gone medium, we go up high now. I'm going to stretch it through the range of motion up top. So that's three. And four. And five. Then we go up to the other side. Just trying to remember to squeeze it. We're going to try and get through that full range of motion. So. I find this one a little bit easier in terms of I don't feel the stretch as much. And five, good. All right then, so the second exercise we're gonna be doing, just gonna have our hands out, and uh, I, I'm, my arms are very long so you can't see them on the screen. But basically I'm gonna have one palm facing up, one palm facing down, and we're gonna try and sort of rotate it as much as you can, and then to the other, rotate the other side, just like that. So we're gonna do 10 rotations in total, Two, that's three, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, so we want to, now we stretch over here, I just want to get add a bit more blood flow to the area. This is especially good if you're going to go do some sport now, just to get that sort of blood into this sort of, area making sure that synovial fluid in the joint which is what makes it lubricated make sure that becomes less viscous and it's really easy to move then so we're just going to do a 
just a sort of a infinity sign with your hands. So you're just gonna sort of cross at the front here. And it's just gonna add a little bit of, you know, go and lubricate that joint, making sure that we're ready for anything that the day brings at us. And I said, this is especially good if you're doing sports, but don't think you, you know, it's just for sports people. If you're about to go out, you know, into town for an hour and you're pushing your chair and there's lots of hills, it's good to change arm now, we're going to do 10 each arm. You know, going out for an hour, that's quite a lot of effort, you know, on our shoulders. If you're going up a hill, down a hill, braking, pushing, turning, that's quite a lot, that's quite a sporty movement, really, even though it's just nice and gentle. It can be quite difficult. So doing this sort of thing is really good. All right, so that's that's one. And last one, we're just, going to, we're just going to move it through the range of motion forwards. So really just making sure that we're getting every single last bit there. Make sure we're getting like the shoulder blades involved there as well. You know, they work in conjunction with this. So we're really shrugging up nice and high and backwards. So doing about 10 rotations on this either side. Cool. And there we go, right. So as I said, it was really quick, really easy. There's not much to do there. And it means that because it's quick and easy, you can do it like just before you go out, you know, just up before you get your coat and that on and go outside. Uh, just quickly do this sort of little mobility routine. So I hope you enjoy that guys. Uh, if you want to see more rope mobility stuff, maybe or some other body parts, uh, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, and subscribe if you did like it, because you know that shows me that you like what I'm doing, and it's really great. So hope you enjoy. Th thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.